sit. Stay. Hey, just stop that. We aren't dogs. Yeah, you can say that again. Dogs are intelligent and able to follow simple commands. Sit. Stay. Hey, we aren't... Yeah, you dog... Uh, fine. A fine mess I got myself into. Sit. Stay. Hey, just... We aren't... Do yeah, dogs... Hey, didn't I tell you not to come toddling after me? I am on a dangerous adventure. But we need your help. Yeah, and I told you, this is not for children. You could wind up in a plasma skirmish. Or be eaten right here on the spot by that witch. She looks very hungry. Well, I never. I won't stand for such insinuations. I do not eat children. Oh yeah? Then what are you doing here? I collect old bottles and sell them to the sewers in. There's a pub down here? Excellent! I could really... Wait a second. You wouldn't happen to have found a container with a green liquid in it? Yes. And I got the five Zlotties for it. Fantastic! You see, Goal, I told you I'd rescue you. <laughs> Alas, what cruel fate drove this wretched creature down into the sewers? It's cold, wet, and filthy, and there are creepy witches around, like that one. Poor, poor Rufus. Hello again, unfair lady. Ah, the young father is back. I already told you, they aren't mine. They seem to think otherwise. Yeah, but I, I didn't sign up for this. Oh, I believe you. If you want some good advice, Mama Cosima's hand crochet Johnny's are extremely tear resistant. Where's the exit? From the sewers, there isn't one. <laughs> Those who wind up down here are damned to remain here forever! 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 Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're laying it on kind of thick for someone who isn't a witch. Sorry, ever since I stopped taking the pill, I've had these strange mood swings. Where did you take the nucleic acid again? I sold it to the sewers inn for the five slotties. Leaf says it's some kind of super fertilizer. But it was my super fertilizer! How was I supposed to know that? After all, decent fertilizer gets flushed into the sewers all the time. And it's rather unusual for people to come by later and lay claim to it. So you have five Zlotties? Yes, all five. Huh? There isn't a lot of money here in the sewers, to be more precise. There are exactly five Zlotties, and at the moment, they belong to me. Hmm. Sounds like a very manageable, stable currency system. It was, until hedge funds and speculation in the financial markets led to massive deficits in current accounts. Uh, yeah, sure. I, I, I see. You wouldn't happen to be interested in some tasty little kids. Oh, and what a coincidence. They cost exactly five Zlotties. But, Mr. Rufus, you can't just sell us to a stranger. Hush now. Grown-ups are talking. Don't worry, boy. I have no intention of letting some random idiot palm a bunch of children off on me. I don't want to end up like my mother. Mmm, yum, 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 tasty little children. I already told you, I'm not interested in your brats. If I wanted to, I could have a whole grain silo full of the things. But I decided to pursue a career instead. Will you lend me your five Zlotties? No, I want to keep them. Oh, come on, don't be that way. I mean, what good is all the wealth if you don't share it with your friends? Very simple. I love it when people make monkeys of themselves for me. <laughs> what was that? 
I'm making a monkey of myself, so that you'll give me the fives lottie. Sounded more like a rusty water pipe to me. Does that mean I humiliated myself for absolutely nothing? No, don't worry. Before you can humiliate yourself, you first have to attain a certain standard. I've got to go. But why? We were just having fun and... Uh, wait a moment! Did the water here just get warmer? Like I said, I've got to go. Ciao! Again, I'm. Uh, I. But we would wait up, did the. Watch out. Oh, such a funny little monkey. I'm not a monkey. Huh? It talks. <laughs> Do you know any other tricks? I could smash your nasal bone up into your brain if you want me to. Wow. I was thinking more along the lines of. You know, flinging poo, something amusing like that. How much does it cost to see the monkey dance? Five zlotties. And if I give it a peanut? Hey, I am not a monkey, and the price is not negotiable. Wow, it can talk. Okay, let's say two peanuts. Huh, no prank to be released. What is it now? Mr. Rufus, we can't get up there. Who says you're supposed to come up here? We need to stay with you. It's just too dangerous here for children like us. Nonsense! Danger is like ghosts. There's no such thing. Certainly not here. This area is teeming with nice people. So scram, go, go and play. What's going on here? This shady character is trying to lure us into his van under very suspicious circumstances. Uh-huh. So what are you waiting for? You cannot be serious. Children must never enter strange people's vans. That's a very important rule. Nah, nah. Rules are for people who are too clumsy to cheat. I'm sure this friendly gentleman only has your best interests in mind, right? Um, yes, of course. He claims that he's got a petting zoo with cute animals in there. A petting zoo? <gasps> really? What? Um, well, <laughs> actually... Ooh, me first. A out of my way. Ooh, ooh. Pretty dark in here for a petting zoo. And where are the cute animals? Um, well, here, right in front of you. Oh boy, oh boy! <laughs> I'm so excited! Whoa! What? What are you doing? No! You're... You're killing that poor animal! That's nothing of the sort. Yes, you are! You're choking it! No, no, don't worry. I'm really good with animals. Stop it! Immediately! Get out of here! No! Oh, there's no reason to get so upset. I was just finished anyway. And? What and? It was totally cool. The animals were mega cute. And I got to pet them. 
I think you're fibbing. Ha, <laughs> you're just envious. Next time, I'll make a print. Then you'll weep with envy. <laughs> I'm so envious, I want to die. <laughs> and then I'll laugh. You can't negotiate with people like that. They only know one language. Fisticuffian. That guy does seem large and threatening. Uh, but maybe he's just standing on something. <laughs> you got me there. Yeah. I'm standing on the guy who tried to sneak past me. Oh. Go on. You know the game. Shoo. Wait a minute. I know those derelicts. Goon, you old warhorse. What are you doing here? Oh, no. Not you. Not you. Is he a friend of yours? Far from it. Goon? Why are you being so rude to the poor guy? Unfortunately, he has a good reason. We used to be best friends. No, we were not. Yes, we were. We even had a hip-hop project going. Oh, no, we didn't. But then I... I just left him in the lurch. I still feel terribly guilty. What on Deponia are you talking about? I thanked my lucky stars the moment you were gone. Yeah, I know. I know. You're bitter. So, it's a good thing that we meet again. I have so much to make up to you. I don't get this at all. Oh, I almost forgot my manners. You haven't introduced me to your lovely companion. Do I have to? Goon! <sighs> all right. June, this is Rufus. Rufus, this is June, my girlfriend. Pleased to meet you, Rufus. Don't be so hasty. Oh, yeah. The good old days, huh? Our long conversations about social disparities, a warm campfire, freestyling on the key wall. <laughs> oh, that was just a couple of days ago. Yeah, time really flies. You broke my umbrella and forced me to eat a boot. Sounds like you had fun. Fun? June, he's completely crazy. <laughs> we were both crazy back in the day. Did Goon ever tell you about his legendary pranks? Oh, one time. <laughs> he dressed up as a bum to annoy the poor people in the slums. <laughs> uh, it wasn't like that. He even smeared poop on himself so that he would stink as much as they did. <laughs> June, don't believe a word he says. No, let him finish talking. This is the first time I've met one of your old friends. But he is not an old friend. He's more like a mad being from a bizarre parallel universe. Yeah, life was crazy for us all back then. So, how's life been treating you, old pal? Mm, well, let's see. A apart from the chronic pneumonia that I caught, and the fact that it really hurt when they had to remove the shoelace from my intestines with a probe, I think things have turned out pretty well. I met June. We've been together now for almost a week. And right now, I couldn't be happier. <laughs> couldn't be happier. Oh, that's a good one. Have you looked around? Hello? You're in the gutter. We don't care. Just as long as we've got each other. Oh, <laughs> stop. <laughs> I can't take any more! <laughs> no, sorry. <clears throat> I, I don't mean to make fun of your misery. I I'm a changed man. And to prove it, I am going to repay you for what I did to you by getting you out of here. Yes, sirree. So, the two of you are really together? With all the trimmings? Ding dong! Know what I mean? <laughs> yes, we're together. It's just perfect. And what about you and that gold? Oh, was this also, uh, super. <clears throat> also ding-dong. Oh, yeah. Does she still have those problems? I, do, I don't know what you're, uh, talking about. Well, she would suddenly go oddly childish. Oh, <laughs> that. Well, let's, let's just say our relationship has, has gotten off to a real new, uh, start. You live in the sewers? That's terrible. We're fine. We're happy. Oh, no, no, no. We can't have that. You're such good people. You deserve something better than a life in the gutter. A beautiful townhouse. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, a villa. The finest house for the finest couple in Porto Fisco. Oh, how sweet of you. And you know what? 
I am going to help you. No, Rufus, really don't help. Anything but that. Goon, what is wrong with you? You know, I, I owe you an apology, Goon. I, I treated you pretty badly last time. Oh, that's so sweet. I, I wish I could do something to repay you. You could just disappear and leave us in peace. Goon, what has gotten into you? It's all right, June. I can understand if your friend feels resentment towards me. I treated him very badly in the past. It's no wonder he doesn't want to accept my apology. I'll simply have to live with a guilty conscience for the rest of my days. Uh, you'll survive, I'm afraid. Goon, he apologized. Now say something. <sighs> All right. Rufus, I'm not mad at you, but whatever you did to me, ultimately it led to me meeting June, and I am really grateful for that. Oh, if only it were that simple. But I sense that I have to do something for you to really make amends. What? No, 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 no. D don't do anything. It's fine. Do you hear? Something really, really big. Oh, heavens. I insist on doing you a favor. No, Rufus, that really isn't necessary. We're happy the way we are. <laughs> yeah, sure. Happy in the gutter. <laughs> you jokers. <laughs> but seriously, I have already got a couple of ideas about how I can radically improve your lives. Radical? Oh, help! What are you planning? <laughs> I'm not telling. Let it be a surprise. Oh, isn't that exciting, Goon? Goon, are you trembling? Hold me. <laughs> Be seeing ya! Please, at least give us time to find hard hats. Goon. Um, hey, snot faces. Give me a leg up, will ya? But Mr. Rufus. Uh, but Mr. Rufus, sir. Yeah, all right, my bad. Just forget it. Yoo-hoo! Huh? Rufus? Is that you? No, it's your reflection in a puddle in the gutter. Of course it's me! Wait a minute. You ended up in the sewers? <laughs> You're in it up to your neck! Yeah, well, at least I'm doing something useful. Scuba diving in the toilet? I found gold, and I know where the nucleic acid is. And what did you achieve? I kept my coat clean. And have you alarmed the rebels in your clean coat? Not yet, but I met Bozo. Unfortunately, he's no help at all. You call that news? <laughs> no, not really. Anyway, it's good to know we can meet up here and share things through this grate. Yes, that may come in useful. I could hand some objects down to you. Wouldn't it be just the coolest thing if there was a new interface element for that? Hey, that's awesome. Let's hope it works the other way around as well. Great. I'll go see what I can come up with then. Uh, maybe I can find you some toilet paper. Yeah, if there's a choice, can you give me the three-ply stuff? Why? Just because I decided to become a vegetarian? That's exactly why. After all, you're a slime monster, and slime monsters eat children. I can change, you know? <laughs> You'll never stick with it. Like that business with your correspondence course. Yeah, you'll see. Well then, enjoy your dinner. As for me, I'm going to toss a couple of kitty arms and a barbecue. Do that. I'm going to take a nap. Yeah, try not to leave your mouth open so wide this time. Otherwise, a couple of kids will wind up floating down your throat. Ha ha ha! Hey, yeah, screw you too. <laughs> wow. 
Why doesn't electricity come in a variety of bright colors? Then I could always see when it's running, and I wouldn't have to feel for it every time. No, it's totally stuck. No wonder. The way these things are built, they only fly from their sockets during an electrical spike. Either it's a rerun of the second season of Once Upon a Foggy Night, or it's not on. Ah, oh, rats. No electricity. <laughs> and even without breaking it off. <laughs> this is definitely a first. It's totally the way these things. And what I ask you could be tastier than meat in a light pastry crust. Mmm, smells delicious. Ah, a cooking show. Just the thing to make you fall asleep. Where are we supposed to sleep here, Mr. Rufus? It's way too cold and dark. What do you say now? This is definitely an ideal spot for a good night's sleep. Are you sure? Of course. It's out of the wind, it has a roof, and there are places to sit. What else could one ask for? Well, it has a certain menace, shall we say? It's scared. You said it, Gretchen. Are there any guarantees that there are no dangerous monsters lurking in the dark? Monsters? <laughs> You're such a bunch of idiots. There's no such thing as monsters. Except, of course, for that giant insect that almost killed me a little while ago. God, you should have seen its teeth and those long legs. Disgusting. Ugh. Still creeps me out when I think about it. But that was over there, somewhere on the other side of those dark, far apart pipes. <laughs> Where was I? You were trying to explain to us why this is a good place to spend the night. Oh, yeah, spend the night. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's, it's perfect, isn't it? But it's dark and cold. Whoa, whoa there. Complain, complain, complain. Another rebel. Another one. Oh, but that's the same one again. He must have escaped somehow. Huh? But I've never been here before. Very funny. Move. Lock him up in his cell again. 